C and D, the beast. Let's talk about it. is everyone doing hope you guys are having a fantastic fucking day hope you guys are having a fantastic fucking week but we are back with another review for you and it is of the cornell and deal small batch the beast from 2023 all right so i do first things first i do want to thank my subscriber josh who sent this tobacco my way sent me two tins of the beast couldn't find out he didn't like perique as much as he thought he would but I'm one of those people that I actually like Perique. I can uh, smoke it straight. I can smoke it in a mix. Doesn't matter. Like Rustica, really. Same way. I like very, very strong tobaccos. Anyhow, so the beast is named after Aleister Crowley, famed pseudoscientist, occultist, sex magician, demonologist, and his nickname was the Great Beast 666. So, that's why it's called The Beast. So, this is a mix of Black Cavendish, Kentucky, Virginia, and Rum Soaked Perique. Now, this is a predominantly Perique blend, about 51 to 52% Perique. All right. Now, Perique is famous because it's uh, very rare to begin with. It's only grown in one place, that's St. James Parish, Louisiana. But it's very high in nicotine. And uh, it's got a very, very spicy note to it. So, but the Black Cavendish is the same Black Cavendish that they do use in the uh, in some of their other blends. Uh, they use it in the Haunting and the Beyond, and it's that cigar Black Cavendish. So, this should be interesting. Well, it is interesting. We're going to put it like that. All right. So, I'm going to be smoking this today in my Thompson African Meerschaum. This is one of my oldest Meerschaum pipes. They got this thing in like 2005, 2006. But anyway, cheers. Now, I will mention this. You guys will definitely want to let this dry out a little bit before you get into it. It comes kind of moist, all right? Right now, it's not a production anymore, so you have to get it from the set secondary market. So it'll probably be a little drier than what mine is. Mine was fresh. I mean, first things first, you're getting that nice woodsy barbecue flavor from the Kentucky. You're getting that nice kick from the Perique. The nicotine hit is there. I can tell you that right now. I'm already starting to feel it. Do not smoke this on an empty stomach. Now, the room note is pure tobacco, okay? Depending on your domestic partnership, if they like the smell of tobacco, you're going to be fine. If not, this is definitely a take it outside blend. Nothing from the Virginias is coming through. The Black Cavendish, you are getting a little bit of that. Some of the nuttiness from the Black Cavendish. But the predominant flavors in this are the Dark Fire Kentucky and the uh, Perique. Pretty fucking good. All right. I like this stuff. And on the retro hail, you are getting a little bit of like an oaky, earthy finish to it. So very well done. And Jeremy Reeves, A plus, buddy, A plus.
All right. So, would I recommend this blend? If you can find it, yes. Right now, like I said, you're gonna get it on the secondary market. There, it's out of production. I don't know if they're gonna do a release for 2024. They don't do one in 2024. They'll probably do one in 2025. Because that's the way they usually do it. So, but it's really, really good. If you like Perique, if you like the stronger, bolder, more spicier tobaccos, this is definitely one that you want to get. All right. But ratings time. Zero being the worst. Ten being the absolute best. 9.5 out of 10. One of their best small batches ever. Hands down. All right. So with that said, I want to thank everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Doesn't matter. I love y'all anyway. All right. So remember, folks, live long and prosper. We'll catch you on the next run. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out.